Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I want to give you a review of my latest purchase. This is the Breitling A17365, otherwise known as the Super Ocean 42 in Mariner Blue. Now I did a really silly music video of my experience buying this watch. I'll put a link to that in the description if you guys want to check it out and have, have a laugh or an eye roll. Uh, and I want to show you what came with the package today to, to start off the video. I got some pretty sweet swag. And uh, that's one of the fun things about buying from an authorized dealer is you get the extras that you don't get when you're buying pre-owned or you're buying gray market. And uh, to me, I really enjoy that. So the first thing, I got the classic Breitling uh, cap, baseball cap, which is pretty cool. They gave me an I Heart Breitling sticker. And then uh, a couple things right here. This is, let's see if I can open it. I think it's kind of cool that they come with <laughs> special branded packaging. This is a blacked out Breitling pencil, Breitling branded pencil, which is pretty cool. This one, we have a Breitling cleaning cloth, which is nice. And then this one, I don't think they give out too often. These are Breitling branded microfiber gloves which I think are mainly for the authorized dealers for when they're uh, showing off pieces with customers in the store. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna put these gloves on and let's jump into the review. Okay, let's start by putting some dimensions here on the screen uh, so you guys can see the size of this piece. I opted for the 42 millimeter version. Uh, there's, there's a 44 that's probably a little bit more popular than this one and is entirely brushed. This one is entirely polished and it just spoke to me uh, it, it just really spoke to me. So this is the one that I picked up. And it's interesting because, uh, let me show it to you next to my GMT Master 2. I think they wear extremely similarly. Although the Breitling is, is technically a larger watch, it feels almost the same size as the Rolex. So I think it just fits perfectly on my 7.25 inch wrists. It has a nice profile to it. It's not too tall. You definitely have the nice weight of the stainless steel and and just the the presence here is incredible with uh, the sunray blue paired with the sapphire uh, crystal brightling really is the best in my opinion at doing a very high quality crystal so it's a uh, dual curved and so you get some really nice distortion at extreme angles and then they put anti-reflective treatment on the top in the bottom of the crystal. So you get a very clean look in certain lights like this. And then if you get it in the right uh, light with harsh reflection, uh, you really see that iridescent blue sheen. And that paired with the dial is just so much fun. This is a beautiful watch. Uh, and then, you know, set off with the high polish finish, it definitely has some amazing presence and I really couldn't be happier with it. So uh, let's go in on a macro level. Let's look at some of those details on the dial. We have Superluminova C1 printing on the Arabic markers, which is a little disappointing because the loom is not, uh, it's not super potent. I mean, it's bright for about five minutes and then it really just diminishes pretty quickly. Uh, so that's really the only place that I could see room for improvement for. But as you can see from this video here, everything is super sharp, super clean. And this is one of the most busy dials that Breitling offers. If you look at the face of the watch, almost all of that real estate is covered with uh, with either markings or text, but it's not done in an ugly way in my opinion. I think uh, it ends up just, it's full, but it's clean if that makes sense. Uh, I love the white gold badge up there below the 12 o'clock position. That's really, really sharp. And if you get this in the right light, everything kind of disappears except that badge and those uh, curved hands, which <laughs> again, just adds to how dynamic this watch is. One of the interesting things about it is the choice of material for the bezel. Now they're using a vulcanized rubber insert and I, I've never seen another brand do that before. And I think it's actually pretty ingenious. So it is gonna be shock and impact resistant, scratch resistant, and the color, that blue color, the Mariner blue, uh, saturated all throughout that rubber piece. So even if you do, and it's very difficult to do so, manage to scratch it or put a mark in it, it's gonna be hid very well uh, because of that color running through the entire 
length of the material. So I actually think that's pretty awesome. And as you can see here, you get it in the right light, those brushed indexing, they just light up. So that looks really cool. I, I love that. The action's nice. Uh, we have this on a Professional 3 bracelet from Breitling, which in my opinion is one of the nicest mass-produced bracelets from any brand uh, in terms of comfort and just coolness. So look at this drape. See how those links are fully articulating. They're held together via screws. And I love that diagonal slash. That is, uh, that's just beautiful. So the watch is carrying the Breitling Caliber 17, which is an ETA 2824 that they upgrade, they regulate, they tastefully finish. I mean, it's just a really great movement. And it is certified uh, as a chronometer. And you can see that there on the dial. And also in the box and papers, they're going to give you a paper, uh, a certificate showing that it did, um, it is a certified chronometer. So let's get back to the watch. I'll give you guys my final thoughts. I think this watch definitely epitomizes what Breitling means to me personally as a brand. Uh, it's all about the presence. It's about the details. It's about looking down at your wrist and uh, just being distracted by how beautiful and how well made the watch is. I have just loved every minute of owning this watch. I have very few keepers. Uh, the, the GMT Master 2 is one of them, and then this one definitely is, is one of them. It's not going anywhere. One day it will go to one of my daughters. So uh, I, I love this. I, I know it's not for everybody. You know, it's high polish, and it's got the rubber insult, uh, insert in the bezel, and it's got the full dial, and uh, it's, it's really out there. But but to me, that is Breitling. You know, it is about being bold and being different, non-traditional, but still high quality in the traditional sense of Swiss watchmaking. So I absolutely love this. I think it's an awesome watch. Does it have flaws? Sure, I'd say the loom really is pretty disappointing. But other than that, I think it's an incredible tool watch. It makes a great daily driver. If this is your grail, I hope you're able to acquire one soon because it is extremely, extremely enjoyable. And uh, if you buy from an authorized dealer, you can get some pretty cool uh, swag and stuff. I know I have one thing coming in the mail from Breitling. When you buy one, uh, you, you fill out a card if you want to receive a gift from Breitling down the road. So uh, I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm excited for it. Happy to, to own this uh, Super Ocean 42 and to share it with you guys here on the channel. Please let me know if you have any questions. Reach out to me. Thanks for taking the time to watch. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.